I've never been happier than when I've been playing a cardboard cat piano. I'm just like the Kanye of cat keyboards. Hi, it's Rachel from Games Radar. I'm here to try out Nintendo Labo for the first time. I'm gonna go hands-on, see what I can make, and hopefully come out with something really cool at the end of it. It's actually pretty. Is that easy to do? Yeah. There's another one there if okay, you want to pop so that one I'll out. Pop that bad boy out. These little sure. green. We're just like gonna monsters. pop everything out. Yeah. I mean, we'll need them all eventually, right? This looks like one of the easier ones. Um, I think I've managed not to mess anything up. I love the fact that you can check these out and see where you need to bend and everything. Folding this bit. Fold the top part, but not the antenna. I feel like this would be a good drinking game to do this at speed. I am finding stuff to customize my radio controlled car. So I'm going for a very kind of, I want to go for a very death metal look. Um, so I'm thinking some feathers. Let's see what else we've got in here. I'm taking this incredibly seriously. This is my art, this is my moment. This is, this is where I discover that I should have been designing radio controlled cars. I'm trying to think which way the, which is the best feather angle. I feel like I could go with some glitter, maybe some more feathers, but Part of great art is knowing when to stop. So the, the antenna actually slides into the switch really nicely and neatly in a way that is ridiculous. So the Joy-Con fits inside the cardboard. You have to be careful when you're customizing though because I think my uh, feathers made it kind of a snug fit. So we just got shown how that this will actually move, which is it uses the vibration of the Joy-Cons to kind of bounce along, but also it has the little infrared camera. So that gives you night vision, turning this essentially into a stealth drone. And it will also react to um, a special tape that they showed us. So you can make a kind of an attractor that will draw it in and it will follow wherever that is. So you can set that up around the house and it will head towards it. If it's covered, um, it will stop. But I mean, it's way more than just what I thought it was, which will be a little race car that bounces along. It's, there's, a lot more to this than meets the eye at the first glance. <laughs> it does heat seeking. I'm really convinced. I was kind of a Labo skeptic to start with, but it's amazing.